<laughs> Look, Org just want this so bad. You can see that, by the way, that they came back. We yeah. were talking about before the break that the way that it was so close to being a Mantis win and then two team kills was potentially the linchpin for what fell into being an August map. Yeah, I was thinking about it um, in our five minute break just then of just the character, the mental fortitude that we saw from August. They were 4-1 down. They were already down a map, like everything's going against them. And for them to stand up tall in the night and say, no, we're not going off. We're uh, gonna go to Clubhouse. Yeah, it's impressive stuff, isn't it? But. Well, we're all the way here now. Orglis have pushed us through overtime to make it happen. They're banning out the Montaigne again. Yeah, I'm interested about the um, Habana band. Habana band as well is a pretty impactful one on Clubhouse, for sure. Um, just like H Habana being so useful for those hatches on Clubhouse. Habana really changed Clubhouse, changed the way it was played when it was released. Uh, when Hibana was released, but of course now that we have Maverick able to do some hatches, it does change the situation a little bit. Mira got getting rid of by Orglis. They're not so such a fan of uh, Valkyrie. <laughs> Vilk Valkyrie. That makes sense. That'd be consistent, right? Yeah, that's what we've seen so far. The Mira. first team being Mira, and then the second team being Valkyrie. <laughs> but I, know, I feel it's going to be something different. In fact, I'm going to go with Legion. Cav. No mute. mute. All right. I just I want it to be different. So I said All Cav. Right. Look, yeah, I was say, no one's going to ban Cav. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I want Derpa to bring out Cav. In one of these grounds. Well, we saw him teasing it before, didn't we? Yeah, he needs to he needs to stick it. You need to commit. Derp. That's what I'm keen for. All right, round number one. Ogilus versus Mantis. Well, Church Arsenal Room is going to be uh, selected first here for Mantis. Of course, they can still change if they so wish, but I think this is where we're going to start off with. Of course, you know, with the map change to Clubhouse, it's just had so many more viable bomb sites open up that, uh, you know, Church Arsenal Room isn't normally the favoured first point of contact, is it? Yeah, I mean, we, we see, I, I feel like it's maybe 50-50 between uh, Church and Cash. I remember when Cash was like a, the novel bomb site that you'd only <laughs> occasionally see with teams that had pocket strats for it. Um, but I mean, we still do see Bedroom, but I think only because teams are forced over there when they win the other two sites. You don't reckon that some teams don't mind Occasionally, uh, like I'd say that there's a, a few teams out there who, who do it, but a lot of the time, just there are so many ways to poke holes in that bomb site. I just want to see us go back to stock at some point. You know, just yeah. be, that'd be novel. It's, it, yeah, I'm, I completely agree, and, and nostalgic as well because we saw so much stock. But at the, sa at the same time, while the bar may be a bit easier to defend in this new update, with the pool table no longer being part of the bomb site, stock yeah, exactly. is... I still so reckon... No, 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 no. Stocks will be easier to defend because cash room is easier to defend. You can just have the top-down angles on it. It's true, but you can't actually have angles onto everywhere that they can plant. Possibly. That is true. But still, the, the tried and true Monty plant is still so very viable on that site. Anyway, let's talk about the real bomb site. We'll talk about it when it comes up, yeah. I suppose. When, when it comes out. August, <laughs> hint, hint. Please take us to stock. Cheers. Also, Derpa... Uh, Show us the cab. Anyhow, as for this defense, we saw a lot of roaming earlier when it was the Japanese and the Singaporeans playing on this map, but so far, not so much. Man is playing pretty uh, pretty safe. We collected on the bomb site. Yeah, well, you know, traditionally this map was known as the you can't roam on clubhouse, but uh, of course with the changes, it's a lot more viable. Definitely has come into it. A lot of people like roaming around cash. Like you said, the cash area, having been um, remodeled most significantly, has become a huge focus for a lot of players and teams on this map. Yeah. Still the tried and tested garage uh, ladder claymore. That's an oldie but a goodie, like that one. Also, this IQ being brought out should be a good counter to this Valkyrie, which is for the first time unbanned in this series. Yeah, and a sweet black right onto it, of course. It's going to be one of those cameras spotted out. I think there was another one spotted as well in blue earlier on. It's just uh, hasn't been able to be shot out yet. But uh, once again, uh, Mantis, very anchor heavy, aren't they? Yeah, and now look, Hibana may have been banned, but the, uh, the my, uh, Maverick, pardon me, Maverick is so very strong on new clubhouse. In fact, I think it's probably Maverick's best map. The fact that you can open up Dirt Tunnel while, while making zero noise. I mean, typically people play fairly passively in Dirt Tunnel and just wait for that uh, Thermite detonation. But no, this time the Maverick can do the damage. Nova is well aware of the Maverick starting to put pressure on. And he decides 
Maybe switch it up. Maybe get Envy Taylor to play down. Instead, use his lesion mines. We've seen delay. this very dirty angle from Emo Rin a few times, haven't we? Can catch people unawares. Oh, he's so close to the smoke. So, we're going to see Ethan on the Maverick. Boy, he rotated quickly, yeah, didn't he? He certainly did. And look, her ACOG will make this a lot more difficult. Long peak by Hetty. Is that, that wasn't through a Maverick hole, was it? That was just a peak from Moto. Let's take down Stylix. Smoke's going to make Ethan's job a little bit more difficult. Using these Maverick holes to the fullest effectiveness so far. Not sure, quite sure where the uh, where the strat is so far. All the thermite yeah. charge completely eliminated. The Ethan now downed as well. Perhaps through his own Maverick hole. Imarin needs to help out. There you go. Nova also picks one up. Oh, nice shot. Imarin, however, does find one kill. So two versus four now. Nine seconds. Imarin gets himself into the bomb site, but he's not lasting long there. Mantis, close out, now round number one. It seems like it just fell apart for Orglis when they lost Silex. You know what would have been nice there? A Thatcher. <laughs> and I know we said that a lot, but I, I do feel like one of the, the significant um, halts, uh, the, the significant forks in the road, or, or just the things that really made Orglis stall out there. Obviously, Silex dying, but. Silex couldn't actually use the utility that he wanted to use to open up Church Wall, as we've seen come back into the meta, because the bandit patches were, were not dealt with. Yeah. If Thatcher would have helped, it wouldn't have completely, you know, d just gotten over that issue completely, because the bandit could still trick, but it certainly would have helped. Yeah, and you know, talking about uh, bomb site selection, though, we are going to see Jim Bedroom here first from Mantis. I'm really curious. I want to know how they decide to hold it. A lot of teams place so much stock in this west-facing wall that Nova's reinforcing onto the Jacuzzi balcony. In fact, it became meta after impact tricking uh, was nerfed on that position. Used to be able to throw impact tricks over that, uh, throw impact grenades over the, the reinforced wall, but that was patched out. So you can no longer deny hard breach using those impact tricks. And of course, the Maverick also makes it much harder to defend that wall, but a lot of people would uh, use the bandit to bandit trick that wall and perhaps Five protect the bandit left. using castle barricades or deployable shields, but there was always a way to deal Attackers with that utility and leader. open that wall. Yeah. So I wonder, is Mantis going to be trying to place a lot of stock in defending that wall, or are they just going to think, okay, look, they, they can have that wall, let's just defend the site regardless. Yo, I'm just interested in this deployable shield here. Like, of course, we see a deployable shield all the time over to allow bandit tricking on... Uh, that wall, but I don't think they're set up for it. In fact, I think they're saying you need to move it. <laughs> Perhaps this is to um, to assist in holding a drop from the logistic hatch. Maybe even contesting the logistic hatch itself. Derper looks to be simply opening up. How's he not taking damage from the wire? Splinter cell? Just, I don't know, take it. He's a, he's a bit of an acrobat at the moment. Looks Ooh. like those bandit batteries are completely destroyed now. I'm not sure how that happened. I didn't actually see them get, get shot out, but yeah. yeah. It would have been, I think... Uh, the, Ma the Mavericks. Yeah, the itself. blowtorch shot them through the wall. Okay. Well, impressive stuff. And uh, there you go, finally, that exterior wall opened up. Nova's got a really nice position here. I think you can do a lot of damage from it. But that's open west wall on the jacuzzi balcony. This enables Orglis to do so much. You re yeah, you really feel like Orglis could just push in almost at this point and start going for a plant. They take that Maestro camera, certainly would be in a good position to do so. Especially if you have a shield, you know, just push in through the uh, through that main exterior wall, push into uh, gym, deployable shield, uh, sorry, great big shield and to defend. Take out that Maestro camera. Well, minute 15 on the clock, Orglis are definitely gonna have to speed it up soon. Uh, yeah, here we go, Derpe. Oh, he could get a free kill if he just opens this up and uh, shoots into the shower area. Looks like Joey's going to be the distraction from the east-hand side of the map, of course. Nowhere is safe when there is a Maverick on the team. It looks like Derpe may get a cheeky kill onto Hedy shortly. If Hedy's not aware of it, and I think he may well be. His gas canister is making Derp's job a little bit more difficult. Oh, there but we Derp go. finds Hedy. There's a refrag for it. As Salix also takes out Nova. Three versus... Four now for Mantis on this defense. 40 seconds. Envy Taylor's in a position as well to get a flank from anyone in con there. 
Sweet Black feels like he has to rotate up, I think, and Nilio just looks the wrong way, unfortunately for him. Joey's gonna find a frag off of that, leaving it all up to Sweet Black and Envy Taylor. 25 seconds, Sweet Black's gonna find Ethan, however, as they are pushing into the bomb site now. Oh, there's oh. another one there for Envy Taylor. Can he get a third? I don't think so, but Sweet Black's in a position to deny this blind. In fact, Envy oh Taylor will. Wow, it's all up to Joey. They know exactly where he is. He's getting pinged on out, and I think he's going to have to pick this with a pistol. He's going to win that duel, wow. but uh, three seconds, two seconds, one second. It's over. That is uh, Mantis coming in clutch. Turned it around as well. Two versus four. Incredibly strong performance from Envy Taylor, and also Sweet Black on the Valkyrie. Did pick up one kill, but he could have denied that plan if it was necessary, but he played so smart. He only waited until it was absolutely necessary, wasted yep. as much time on the clock as possible, and when he realized that his teammate denied the plan, he decided to just stay passive. Great job from Manus FPS. They're up 2-0. Yeah, and you really felt like Joey did have to go for the frags. He couldn't sit back and try and plant. I completely agree. I mean, regardless, at any point there, he had he had no choice about planting. Outnumbered and outpositioned as well. Outgunned. Outgunned, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he certainly was. It's another way of saying outnumbered, I suppose. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. Need to locate and All right, as many cash daggers. for the first time. This is really where the, uh, the Arrowwolf Fav game shine we saw so much cash. oh yeah I saw, I saw so much good play with smoke grenades from far back oh, to deny man. monty's on stairs that was good pre-placed smoke grenades and then thatcher grenades to counter the pre-placed smoke grenades glass usage montane usage obviously montane has been banned out orglis not going to bring any kind of shield or forceful utility for that matter they don't have the glass either rest in the capital and there's a fear perhaps for that kind of, uh, oh, and I guess the grenades from the buck for that kind of, uh, that kind of cornering and eliminating utility. Attacker's objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. Well, into the action phase now. What are you thinking for this Orglis uh, lineup, right? Like, okay, they're bringing the Maverick, as you said, is uh, his best map. What, what about the Capital? Oh, oh speak. Let's let's just take Please a moment tonight. to appreciate. Jepper finding a nice early kill. Not sure what happened to Nelio, but look, as you were saying, Capital, look, the way I think about it a lot of the time, when you've got four operators that you're happy with, you ask yourself, do we have any smoke utility? And if the answer is no, you have to get someone who has smokes. Now, do you want a Jackal? No, we don't really need a Jackal for the roam clear. Do you want a Dokkabi? Eh, we don't really have anyone that likes to play Dokkabi. We don't really need the calls. How about a Capital? We not only have stuns or a Claymore as well, but we also have the fire arrows. And we don't have to worry about ADSs for those. To be your smoke operator. Yes. Uh, the fact that he can't be taken out by ADSs and also he can uh, like deny rotates and avenues with the asphyxiating bolts, I think is pretty undervalued, of course, with his Claymore as well. But uh, I don't know, it's, it's not really an operator that feels as necess like a, as a must pick for how versatile his kit is. Yeah, I mean, a bit like... Yeah, I get you. Like, you know, Zafia a lot of the time is a must pick just because her kit's Bomb so versatile. Whereas Capital might not quite have that. Nonetheless, a lot of good progress made for Orglis. As we see, that construction wall opened up. Yeah, it looks like they're going for um, just a west side push. They haven't even opened up on top of our platform yet. Well, we've seen how strong a hold inside of Garage can be and, and the kind of... Ex uh, to what extent teams will need to invest utility to take it over. So, so West pushes more wise. Oops. Ethan drones out the players <laughs> at the top of the stairs. It looks like the gas grenades will be denying a push in through construction so far. Yeah, they can't deny it forever and there's uh, more time for the round than there is for smoke grenades. There's a Kobe heading straight towards the stairs, but no, Hetty's gonna get away in time. Still one grenade left. I think it really needs to do the damage. So many invested anchor players that need to be dealt with. Derper also in a position to challenge these anchor positions using this Maverick from oh. the East Wall, but he gets domed through it. Ethan finds one on the Sweet Black, however, four versus three for Orglis. Time's starting to run low. Yeah, but they do have the man advantage, but when you've got to force your way through choke points, that doesn't always count for more than 
Well, for as much as what you'd think, especially when you got the players on the side, they're just spotted out by Imo Rin, but he's missed. Sykes going to run on in, but Imo Rin's going to find the shots on Denova. Oh. And he's right there to finish off Imo Rin, and we're going to see the plant right in the smoke. For Silex, is that going to go down? I don't think they're aware of his position. Yes, it is. They've ran right past him. We're going to see Envy Taylor find that frag, leaving it all oh. up to Ethan, and Hetty's going to finish him off. That is another round for Mantis that... Uh, Wow, it was a bit spicy. And it shouldn't have gone for Mantis. Should not have. No. A complete flush for the Koreans. Three rounds in a row. Unfortunately, there's a sound bug for the Korean guys. So we're going to have potentially a bit of a tech uh, timeout. But yeah, wow, what a, what a performance from the three of them. Yeah, it was uh, definitely a great retake, wasn't it? Impressive stuff from Mantis so far. Securing defensive wins across three different bomb sites. Starting to look like we're headed to another defensive sided map. What about this map? The other day, Orglis dark sided. It was defensive yes. every single round. The whole way. Until Until overtime. Until overtime. Where it was first round of overtime it was defensive. And then <laughs> VSDS. Finally, finally, finally yep. punched through. And Orglis lost that. So yeah, we saw six rounds in a row for defense and then six rounds in a row for defense. What, at what point do we rule it out and say, this is looking good for Mantis? This is looking like Mantis' map. That's true, that's true. Um, look, honestly, Orglis lost that game against Darksided. Yes. They weren't perfect at the time. And now that VOD is out there in the universe for Mantis <laughs> to prep for this, uh, leading up to this LAN event. I mean, you can't watch every single VOD of every single team in a preparation for a LAN event. Yeah. But, I mean, surely Mantis would be thinking about the fact that this the clubhouse was a possibility and that they had such an extensive VOD to, to look at for how all this played. Yeah. So, I know we may not be able to go off this by the results as of yet, but I'm a bit worried for Orglis. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Three down already, of course. It's a slightly defender side of map, and uh, you know, it's not all over Red Rover just yet. Do you reckon that maybe, like, Particularly on that cash site, some of what needs to happen for the attackers is just like, and I, this isn't my like preferred play style for Siege, but it's something that works, right? You just need to go for it. You just need to get on in there and start taking these gunfights. Make sure you've got people with some one time sights so you can just jump in there and flick around with these quick guns. See, I want to say the silver lining for Orglis though is that they, the last two rounds, they've been in positions where they should have been winning it. That first one, no, nah, Mantis all the way. But uh, we saw on Jim Bedroom, it was a four on two that we saw Mantis manage to claw back. In that last round, it was a post plan situation that everyone on Orglis just seemed to not be ready for. That's true. And they lost a lot of players trying to force themselves into that bomb site. Nonetheless, we're heading back downstairs. The one that you mentioned was very convincingly in favor of Mantis. But this time, we have the Glas, and it was hidden via a six pick. I think potentially Imarin's going to be doing the old school glass down tunnel, or is this maybe a glass through church? Yeah, obviously, um, you know, glass is one of those players you want to, or operators you want to sit back and hold angles. So when, I was thinking maybe either tunnel with the smokes, of course, using his banana vision, or perhaps he'd be even holding down the uh, long hallway from stairs. Ten seconds to go. Yeah, maybe. I feel like for the glass, you're going to be using him. His utility forcefully to try and gain access to an area. So yeah, he's, like he's like a, I don't know, an operator to force things out. You mean? Yeah, exactly. Like your Ying, your Blitz, your Monty, they're all kind of forceful operators, and Glaz I think fits into that category. And I wouldn't be surprised to see it uh, for. I mean, you could do it up the main hallway, but I feel like it's more likely to be either from Dirt or from Moto. We really need to crack this church wall, though. Emilio in a position to bandit trick it last time. It was really Imarin's job from above to try and take out that bandit, prevent the bandit trick, but it didn't happen. And we no longer have the buck that Imarin was playing in the last time. Yeah, of course, Zofia can still make some holes, just not as many, of course. Perhaps we might even see the glass down blue. That's not something you see every day. Maverick's going to help out with opening up the blue hatch. I remember this, this. it was at one point considered impossible to open up hatches with Maverick, but people have been making it happen. I saw an incredibly... It's so dangerous. It is really dangerous. And it takes a huge amount of gas and a huge amount of time and a decent amount of skill as well. Look at this. That Yokai drone inside of the, uh, the Blue Stair storage room. Getting so much intel for the team. 
Death Esther with two canisters left can open up a, a hole been located. into the uh, dirt tunnel. Seems like he's like gone all the way there and then changed his mind or gotten called back or something. Maybe he wants to burn some ADSs. There you go. That was his job, just to burn the ADSs. Gonna go dirt tunnel now. Dirt. Yeah, here we go with the glass down it as well. But is that gonna Ooh, provide enough it. coverage? In fact, uh, all right. Goomine's gonna slow down Emo in, but the uh, smoke grenade in reply isn't gonna slow him down too much more either. Dirt for Taps gonna use his. Oh, oh no, Ethan yeah, gets down. He can pick bomb. himself up, but it's dangerous. That's a beauty right next to him. Oh, oh Envy Taylor's gonna find the shots on the Emo Rin, turning us into a four on five. Looking very rough now for Org. Just lost that forceful utility. Ethan is down, needs to pick himself up. Silex now trying to push through blue. Derbez still at a bit of a loose end on the other side of the church wall. Silex needs to make the play, but. He's not the person we typically pick for a man to, to jump in and, and start forcing the issue. That's really what all of us need right now. Yeah, that Echo's doing so much for him. Just, just being able to scan out these players and, of course, coupled with the Valkyrie. But Derpe, oh, no. how did he lose that? Hetty with a beautiful oh, shot. Sweet black onto Silex. Two on five. And Ethan is very, very low right now. Joey's going to peek on into the bomb site. As Ethan will find Sweet Black. Right, that's one. Another, in fact, but Envy Taylor will find Joey. So Ethan, on just 5 HP, has to try and clutch this out. 15 seconds. No luck that happened. 15 seconds. Three players to find. Almost out of ammo in his primary now, but it doesn't even get to that point with Envy Taylor on the cleanup crew. Oh, Orglis really struggling on these attacks. Yes, it was, it was not pretty from Orglis, was it, on that one? I think that the idea for Orglis is that the primary idea is, all right, we're going to push in through church. We're going to open up the church wall. We're going to find picks, kill the people inside a church, force our way in there. But they really can't kill anyone who's in church, and they're just dying when they get too close. Whether it's main stairs, whether it's moto, whether it's blue, they always just start falling when they get too close to these areas. I really think that Orglis should have banned Echo because Nova's just done so much work with that Echo, hasn't he? Like, even though they've been liking it themselves, I really feel like it's been working much more against them than what it has been for them on their defense. So how much would the mirror ban have really mattered if it had been let to go through? Um, well, would Mantis have let through Mute if Mira hadn't been banned? That's, that's, a, that's a good question as well. So uh, what ifs? Nonetheless, Mantis heading up to bedroom again. This one got very close last time. In fact, yeah. Mantis only had two players in a two versus four that they managed to steal the round away with. You've got to think that Orglis feel like they can correct their mistakes and win this one. Yeah, we'd have to agree. It's, uh, as I said, silver lining for Orglis is the two rounds after the first three, they were very close on those last two. Of course, they weren't close at all on that armory. In fact, it yeah, looks like Mantis have got a... Uh, very strong hold either way. I really like those holes from over as well. No Twitch drone can get through there. It's not quite low enough. Attackers also means no Echo drone can get through. Ooh, a nice little camera, nice pair of cameras by Sweet Black, and he doesn't get detected. Wow. There's no IQ this time either. He's done that a few times before. So. It's looking really good for Mantis so far, isn't it? But then again, we've seen Clubhouse just like we, be so defender-sided. That we said that in the Orglis versus Dark-sided game, and well, that turned out with <laughs> a, like it was a 6-0 and then a 6-0 back, which just cannot be understated how confusing and emotional that is to play as a player and also as a viewer. And yeah. it's it's confusing because you're, you're thinking one team is doing well and then it, it's a complete reverse shutout. Derp, it looks like he can very swiftly and comfortably remove all of the batteries from this wall, allowing it to be safely opened up. Well, actually, I don't think he got all the batteries, but uh, I think Solix is there to do just that. In fact, he's going to repel to open up. Of course, that's the only way to do it safely without getting your uh, tootsies getting shut off. This is where I wonder why we don't see more impact tricks. Surely an impact grenade through oh, the no. bottom there. Oot. Oh, you can see how careful he was. He was so worried there. He <laughs> Went too far down. Surely an impact grenade through the bottom there would deny this thermite charge. Yeah, the very so limited hard breach utility. You can get C4s through those um, Maverick holes, can't you? It's, it's Perhaps it's just a bit too risky. Mantis not interested in going for it at the Bomb moment. Located by attackers. Meanwhile, Sweet Black's actually taken a lot of damage. Not sure whether he was injured and then reset. Orgless still 
Oh, wow. That's that's what the deployable shield was for. Augusts are really struggling when it comes to taking initiative. And that's the thing that's the highlight for me. They've spent two minutes, and all they've done is really open up Jacuzzi and gain control of cash. Like, they weren't even yeah, and protecting cash. Exactly. Bitches. Like, how, it should not take you long to take control of cash if, if there's no one defending it. That said, they now have maybe some ground to work with moving forward. Well, 50 seconds on the clock, and, you know, there's still plenty of utility that Augulus have to get rid of heading on into this bomb site. The second Maestro device is spotted. Perhaps trying to waste down an ADS with that concussion. I don't think that the impact grenade will actually have enough range to take out that. Looks like all of the ADSs are wasted now. 28 seconds remaining, and still a player below as well to deal some damage. They're going to be looking for the hatch, aren't they? Here they go. Envy Taylor's gonna oh, slice Olex. Completely walks into the meat grinder. Sweet Black with the C4 into Ethan. Sweet Black with the shots. Nova, Nilio, all finish it off. And uh, oh, that was a flawless round and a half from Mantis. And nearly a team ace as well. Stolen by that 2K from Sweet Black. Mantis doing so well on these defenses. That one was only more dominant than the previous. Oh yeah. So, what's going to let up? This is the last round of the half now. It's looking grim, isn't it? It, it really is. And I mean, the next one's I catch. said to you, <laughs> this is going to be a 7-0 after the two overtime, is it? It's entirely possible, right? <laughs> it's on the cards. We are making an assumption that this is going to be defender-sided. And yeah. that this isn't just Mantis-sided. It's really difficult to know these days. The difference between something that's team-sided and just a really one-sided match. Or whether something that's, uh, you know, attack-defender-sided. And I, I do feel Attack like when Orgless switches on to the defense, they're going to be feeling a bit more comfortable. Yeah. But I still wouldn't put a 7-0 off the table. Do you think we could put this down a lot to the Habana band? I think it's possible. I can't remember whether Habana was banned the last time um, that Orgless played on this map when it was against Dark Sided. But... Yeah, perhaps. I mean, Salix has been playing Habana all day. The switch on to the Thermite, perhaps a bit grating. Yeah. And I feel like the Maverick, it's a nice idea, but Derpa's kind of like little tricks haven't actually been helping as the, helping that much as a team, you know, for the whole team. Yeah, that's true. Like He's been playing that Maverick, and he's been trying to do some of that sneaky stuff through the walls, but it seems like Mantis are just too aware of it. I feel like maybe on the whole, and I don't want to don't sound too negative or make a judgment, but perhaps, you know, some of these plays by Orglis are a bit too hoping to be cheeky rather than contributing overall. Like some solo QS. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be too negative or rag on. Oh. Ima in, though, shutting down Envy Taylor right off the bat. It's a good start. Oh, Solik's taking a lot of damage, though. How'd that happen? Perhaps it was Envy Taylor on a spawn peak, and Imarin saved his buddy. Oh, oh there we go. Nice. So there's, there's something cheeky. Yeah, and it worked out as well. So, look, perhaps it's just classic casters complaining about stuff when it doesn't work, <laughs> and then saying it was good when it works. But yeah, you, you know, that's something I say a lot. It's, it's so easy to be critical when it doesn't work, but you that's really right. need to say, hold on, would this have worked... Like, you know, if this had worked, like, was it the right decision overall, well, regardless think, whether it worked or not? I think they're opening up an unusual angle and then just having the patience to wait and gain intel from his teammates on drones, that treated Derp well. Now, <laughs> significant numbers advantage for Orglis. Swapping mags. But still, that final initiative to crack into the bomb site is the thing that's always so difficult for them. Yeah, it looks like Sweet Black's going to take some damage as well. In fact, Hetty is going to bring a man back, taking down Joey. It's unfortunate for Orglis, all of their smokes off the table as well as those incendiaries. Looks like Salik's going to easily open up this uh, exterior wall. And then he's also got some nice angles to utilize as well. Ethan on the, uh, still on the construction side of the map. I wonder if this is going to be a full rotation. I think this is a situation where we have to see that Orglis are going to have to push in through these choke points once again. We saw last time that happened. Even though that was the man advantage, it didn't really work out too well for him. With the Capitao dead, Imarin's going to rely on his own smokes solely when he goes for this brute force of the push. Still got to worry about ADS as well. Ethan oh. trying to expose these positions down inside of the cash room, but these angles are working two ways. And, oh, but oh. look at how much damage Sweet Black has taken. 
No more impacts left. Those smoke grenades going out, trying to delay as much time as possible. Imarin wanting to push in shortly with this Blaz. Oh! No doubt, what are you doing? I don't understand. What what was the point there, Nova? It was surely a call that Ethan was downstairs using using this vertical. Surely way. they thought he'd move. There's no way that Nova would not be aware of that. Looking to be oversight after oversight for Mantis, but 20, with 20 seconds. seconds to go. How are Augus gonna force in themselves in last minute? This could even just be a single play from Sweet Black to deny the plant. Especially that smoke right in the doorway. There was a. Uh, it is the last babe, and Sweet Black's gonna piece oh, right out no. of sight, though. This plant's gone down for the pigs from oh below the shotgun. This is surely going to work. In fact, it does, and that is gonna be the clutch by Sweet Black. Beautiful play, beautiful info gathering, and that is gonna be the 6 0 half. One versus four clutch without getting a single, well, essentially one kill, right? Getting one kill onto the bomb planter. He didn't even need the kill, he just needed to get the injure. Oh my. Is that once again we see Orglis not being able to manage their time correctly? Yes, I, I've gotta say it. Orglis did whittle away bit by bit at yeah. Mantis, but unfortunately, at the, the crux of it, they didn't do what was needed and they didn't disable any of the intel, all of the intel gathering insight that Mantis had. Because if Mantis had no idea where the plant was going down, Sweet Black wouldn't have done that. Yeah. Even if Salix maybe had planted on top of a desk, that wouldn't still have been a, successful. Yeah, yeah, still a chance. So I think it's just so unfortunate that in the heat of the moment, Tiny mistakes and good preparation from Mantis. Yeah, as soon as I saw um, him pinks. jumping off the edge, I was like, oh, what's he doing? He's going the wrong way. <laughs> At first, I thought he was just going to try and hide, and I thought, oh, no, but they're going to plant. Oh, but he can shotgun from below, but he needs intel. And then I saw the pings, and that was when I knew it was over. Yeah. Very All little right. that Orglis could have done at that point. This is where we find out. Monkey, where, was your joke prediction right? <laughs> is this going to be a 7 0? Or is Orglis going to finally start giving us a taste of what we saw in their match against Dark Sided? That allowed them to qualify to get here. Incredibly defender sided. One for one. Well, if this is the comeback for Orglis, it'll be one of the greatest comeback stories, of course. 6 0 down. Imagine eight in a row. It's possible to happen. Orglis did have a comeback on the previous map of Villa. It wasn't this dramatic, but. This did bring back from a 4-1 uh, deficit and managed to clutch over in overtime. See how Mantis do on taking this initiative. As much as I've been critical in the past of, of things like, you know, frag heavy operators, I think Sweet Black just, if, if we know that Sweet Black is going to be taking these gunfights, being aggressive and taking initiative, not being too afraid to, to enter into the building, enter into rooms and start flushing out positions, I think that's actually going to work wonders for Mantis because that kind of teeth was what Orgles were missing. And on top of that, Mantis also have some of the really basic ingredients needed to tackle almost any obstacle. You've got your Thatcher, you've got your Thermite. That's sometimes all you need. You've got Glaz to force the issue when it's necessary. You've got yeah. utility, soft breach utility, to destroy maestro cameras, such a good variety here. And I think August is gonna have to rely on these Echo Drones, perhaps droning in their teammates to really break through the Mantis attack. Well, Nilio is gonna be hit with the <laughs> Last wave of concussion. But uh, it's been pretty slow going here for Mantis. Looks like Orglis are uh, trying to go for a bit of an anchor strategy. Something that can work so very effectively on this bomb site. Real question is, how well will this church wall be defended? Sweep like trying. Oh, okay. First frag goes the way of MV Taylor. And unfortunately, that's the echo off the board. One of the only operators that. Mantis don't really have a strong counter for. Mantis can open up this wall, which by the way, there are no mutes or bandit batteries to deny. I think this is looking to be all over for all of us. Well, it's not over till the fat lady sings. We can definitely hear her warming up our back as Mantis is starting their slow, methodical push towards the bomb site. Oh, Ethan's no. got a thing or two to say though, but Hetty will be immediately trading him on back. Hetty very close to finding another frag. That's gonna be oh, a push no. up, but Joey's gonna go down to the Claymore. One Emo has gone down as well. Silex on the one on four. Plant going down. This, I think it is, I think it is, Dev. 1v4, I think this might be all over Red Rover. Sox is gonna find the first one, but Sweet Black's there to finish him off. You know what? I was right, 7-0. You were right, you own it, Monkey Fist.
My goodness, what a match we have been treated to. It was tooth and nail earlier on Villa, and whether it was defensive sided or whether it was just the emotions getting to them, above. whatever it was, Envy Taylor has led his team to a victory 7-0 on Clubhouse. Mantis are going to the ground.